All right, Zach needs a lift. Car A travels at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Car B travels at a speed of 60 miles per hour. What gets Zach home first? Rocket ship? Did you study for this exam at all? Huh? Middleton, I fly you to another planet, but I have yet to complete the required training. Instead, can I take you to prom? Yes! Oh, of course, yes! <laughs> Connor knows how to romance a girl. I mean, who needs a date for prom? You get your best bro, right? Oh, I booked the limo. It's got a hot tub. What? I hate to do this the day before prom, but Ali already booked a limo. All right, I'll cancel mine. No biggie. Except there's no spot for me. Claire's bringing Eli, and after everything that went down this year, Allie doesn't think it's a good idea to have you two in close quarters. Oh, well, at least we'll be at the same table. Seriously? So, so what, I'm supposed to sit with a bunch of randoms? No, no, Dallas, I'm not the loser with no friends on prom night. I wish there was something I could do. Yeah, there is. Plead my case to your girlfriend. But I promised Allie a perfect prom night. Please, Dallas? Please? You know I can't resist that face. <laughs> Fine, what do I tell her? Um, tell her you won't put out unless I'm there. Like in the room? Scratch that. Uh, tell her that prom will suck without your best bro by your side. I like your shoes. You were staring at my face. Give it back, I'm not finished. Someone's not a happy camper. Just let me finish my sentence. Your time is up, Mr. Hollingsworth, as is everyone else's. Hey, 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 hey relax. This is a stupid exam. This doesn't concern you. Yeah, it does. Everybody's staring like you're some sort of freak. I don't care! You should, you're embarrassing yourself. Go to hell. Look, I'm only trying to help. You never help, okay? You only make things worse. Hey. Oh, I'm going to ask you something very important. Don't overthink it. Trust your gut. Should we go with blue check? Someone's not worried about their calculus final. Derivatives are easy. Making prom magic is not. I haven't even finalized the centerpieces yet. Luckily, you are not only the sexiest girl at Degrassi, you were also the smartest. Oh, no. You called the boat company, didn't you? What, did they book two proms for the same night or worse? Did they fold? This must be what a heart attack feels like. Relax. I haven't called them yet. But you were supposed to finalize the seating arrangements this morning. And I will, as soon as you agree to let Drew sit at our table. <sighs> he made his puppy dog face, didn't he? Hun, we talked about this. Clara's had a horrible year. She deserves a night to remember, and so do I. Drew's year hasn't been a cakewalk either. I can't let him fly solo. Well, then let's find him a date. I think we solved your problem. I will be on my best behavior, Vandari, I promise. I'm sure Becky would appreciate that. Becky? You still like her, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. And she'd be the perfect date? Absolutely. She just broke up with Guyliner, so she's probably looking for a shoulder to cry on. You could be that shoulder. Oh, you really think she'd say yes? Who wouldn't want to go to prom with Drew Torres? <laughs> All right, let's get cracking on this prom proposal. <laughs> Thank you. Quiz me. Uh, Roosevelt signed the Neutrality Act on... Crap. May 1st, 1937. But he didn't embargo arms shipments to Asia until September. First of all, I have never been more attracted to you. Second, since your epic suspension is done, I got a cue card for you. For grad. You write down what you're doing next year, and they'll read it when you cross the stage. Do I have to do it now? I'm kind of busy. Oh, I see what's going on. You're still deciding which Ivy League to accept. Claire's super smart. Then you probably got into schools in Europe. If you're going to school in Paris, I am totally jealous. Man, it must be nice to have so many options. Yeah. Yeah, that's me, just swimming in options. Okay, then I'll leave that with you. Not a problem. I just gotta pick a lane. What do you think Hunter meant when he said I make everything worse? Hmm. 
That's a tough one. Well, how is that even possible? I barely interact with them. He's always playing weirdo games in his room or working on that dumb comic book. With that out of the house, what could possibly be his problem? You guys are in family therapy. Has he shared anything? Teenage boys don't share. Do sure. Here you go. Thanks. Unless it's with a girl. Hunter's got a nerd crush. <laughs> I think her name's Arlene. School out. Hunter won't see her for months. Unless he locks it down before the break. And I can help him at the Hollinger thing. We'll post exam extravaganza. That's the thing your family does? It is now. This is for a girl who's cramming for a history final. Have you seen her? Mm. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. You're awesome at history. It's not that. Everyone is going off to do amazing stuff next year. I was suspended for two weeks, and you know what I thought about every single day? My plan. And you know what I came up with? Buck kiss. Well, I guess I just kind of figured that you'd come to New York. Really? Yeah, I mean, why not? But what am I going to do? Whatever you want. The world is your oyster. I guess I could read all those books you're supposed to read before you die. And there are tons of awesome coffee shops near my apartment for you to write in. Just take the year to read and write and explore. And reapply to Columbia. Or maybe by then I'll almost be done my first novel. <laughs> and the best part of it is that we'll be together. So, does that sound like a plan? Yes. Totally does. Who wants to graduate? Good. Then let's get started. Turn over your exams. Uh, but before you do that, I have a question for Becky Baker. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, show's over, Mr. Torres. You want to turn the lights back on? Sure. Captain Who, who are you? Shape shifting, road changing, you Sorry. Um. Captain Who. Okay, everybody, just leave your exams on the table. We need to clear this room until we figure this out. Let's go. <laughs> One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I don't think that's what JFK had in mind. You mean Neil Armstrong? There goes my B in history. Look on the bright side. At least you're not still at school writing an exam because some goof filled the gym with smoke. Yes, you said you're about to enter a chicken fight. I bet Zoe and I can take you in Frankenstein. We accept that challenge. Wait, wait. Arlene needs a partner. Hunter, into the water. Good, thanks. Come on, put down your fun shield. Stop, your hands are wet. Look, Arlene needs a partner. See, she likes you. What do you know? I know that you're hanging up in line like a loser when the girl you're into is sitting over there. My, give it back, Miles. Put on your Miles, suit. Give it oh. back. I'll text the board. I think he might have fried his motherboard. <laughs> what is your problem? Why can't you just leave me alone? Come on, Hunter. We're just joking around. Pencils down. Congratulations on completing your final exam. And only three hours later than scheduled, thanks to good old Prince Charming. Hey, don't be mad. What, did you push me to prom post so you wouldn't feel bad about ditching me on prom night? I thought she would say yes. <sighs> Maybe I'll just skip prom. You're serious? I'm sitting by myself is just gonna remind me about everything I've lost this year, and I don't wanna bum everyone out. You know what? Screw the girls. You're coming in our limo. Really? And you're sitting at a table too, and if Allie doesn't like it, I will. Try very hard to stand up to her. <laughs> 
That's good enough for me, man. This night is going to be awesome. It's going to make memories to last a lifetime. Oh, that's all I wanted. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Torres, I heard about your promposal stunt. Yes, Miss Pill, I, I'm sorry. It was so stupid. And irresponsible. Mm -hmm. And dangerous. Mm -hmm. This act can't go unpunished. Okay. Um, school's out. What are you going to do? Ban me from prom? Sounds fair to me. That was a joke. Okay, so the boat boards at four and leaves the dock at five sharp. We'll take the favors and the limo with us. You guys will take the centerpieces and the catering company will deliver the food to the dock. What about these twinkly lights? They stay here. Um, am I forgetting any important details? Uh, you mean like me? Drew, I tried to convince Pill to let you come. She won't budge. Come on, there's gotta be something else we can do for my boy. What, like threaten to boycott prom? <laughs> Wait, you do that for me? He's kidding, right? I've already rented my tuxedo. My deposit's not refundable. Uh, well, what about an alternative prom? We can hang out in my backyard. At least we'd all still be together. Can I still wear my tuxedo? Yeah, absolutely. Not! I spent the entire year making this night memorable for the entire class, and we are not skipping it. Okay, well, we have to go to our hair and makeup appointments. Oh my god, you guys, I cannot believe prom is actually happening. <laughs> I'm sorry how this turned out. You can make it up to me by sneaking me onto that boat. I can't. Miss Pill's first name isn't Chill. If we get caught, we could ruin the prom for everyone else. You mean I'll ruin it for the person who humiliated me in the gym yesterday? Or, or, or the person who wrecked my senior year with a baby scare? I mean, you'll ruin it for all your friends and your best friend who helped you through this year. Oh. Oh, you mean the one who kicked me out of his limo for a girl who's probably just gonna dump him after he graduates? You're out of line. No, man. It's true. Who's gonna be at your wedding? Not her. Me. Best man. Not anymore. Dallas, where are you going? Well, I'm getting ready to celebrate my last night with all my friends. <sighs> Good morning, Frankenstein. Have you seen her brother? Thought we could go paintballing. What? Freaking out and then trying to make it up with gifts. Nice one, Dad. Just tell me where he is. I don't know. He wasn't in his room this morning when I got up. You don't think he'd run away? Only if he found a place with Wi-Fi. <laughs> I know we've been to proms before, but this one feels different, you know? <laughs> yeah, because it's our prom. <laughs> I'm not feeling this clutch. Can I borrow that black sparkly one of yours? Yeah, sure. Closet left-hand side. <laughs> Can you check my boat? Yes. <laughs> no clutches, just dozens and dozens of diaries. <laughs> no, 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 no need to look at any of those. High school is both Please tumultuous and exhilarating. Oh, <laughs> those are some $10 words, grade nine. Am course. I the only one who is concerned about my <laughs> academic future? Allie is too busy being boy crazy. I thought dating a certain long-haired cretin <coughs> would have taught her better, but apparently not. Oh, it's not. Okay, to be <laughs> fair, Johnny's hair was terrible. Jenna? Oh, look, I, I bet boyfriend stealing Jenna's going to find herself pregnant with Casey's baby in no time. Well, you kind of did. I... No. <sighs> How are you supposed to get into all the Ivies and get to be valedictorian if you spend all of your time being a boy crazy idiot? I'll never let a guy get in the way of my dreams. <laughs> Oh, limo's here. We have lifetime memories to make. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> okay, group selfie. You have the longest arms. Fun, although this technically isn't a selfie at all. The more accurate term would be a groupie since it's a photograph of all of us in a group. Sweetie, it's... It's okay. 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 <laughs> Cute. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful as always. Thanks. Look, can we talk for a second? Okay, um, well, me first. Everyone, if I could have your attention for just a moment. Claire, you're the love of my life. And we've been through a lot but I know where I'm meant to be. So that's why. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I want to ask you if you would do me the honor of moving in with me. 
had you go in there, didn't I? Certainly had me. <laughs> <laughs> Eli. Come on, I'm just joking around. Last year I brought you a horse and carriage. I had to do something. I'm not going to follow you to New York. That can't be my plan. Then what is? I don't know. Hello? There you are. I thought you ran away. I tried. But Dad said moving in with him violates the terms of his separation agreement with Mom. Why would you want to live with that jerk? Because you're not there. Okay, what is your problem? You. There won't be much longer. <laughs> wow, Hunter, this is weird. Even for you. Take the kendo stick. We're gonna duel. And if I win, you never talk to me again. Okay, fine. But if I win, then you have to smile once a day for the next month. I deserve it. No. I'm not you. I'm not a bully. Neither am I. Are you kidding? You make fun of everything I do. You push me to do things I don't want to do. Plus, you walk around with a big stupid grin on your face while you make me miserable. I hate you. So you'd rather live with him? At least he used to run interference. And it wasn't perfect. But I miss him. He's my dad. I get that things have been weird for you since you left, but I want to make it better. Find me a different brother. Maybe I could be one. I know I can't take Dad's place, but I can try. Okay. Are you hugging me right now? Hey, you wanted me to be different. Now can you put the sword down? Should be here any minute. I have a program to keep you busy. Seriously? I'm about to have 200 people who've bought tickets, tuxes, and dresses breathing down my neck, and you're telling me there's no boat? This could be people's last night together, and they've invested a lot to make sure it's perfect. How could you not have our booking? Yes, I'll hold. You have the boat booking, right? Yeah, I have an email. I know how important this is for you, for us. See? I have a confirmation email from you right here. It says June 27th of next year. What? And there's nothing you can do about it. Perfect. You messed up the year. How could you mess up the year? Why would they let people book more than a year out? Is everything OK? Yeah, where's the boat? The sea legs are ready. Some of us are hungry. I am so sorry ruining the most important night of our lives. Let me make this up to you. Just tell me what to do. You can tell everyone that you ruined prom. There's no freaking boat! Wait, where are you going? Home to eat a few pizzas. Come on, crazy pants. Prom is supposed to be the most magical night of our lives. Except there's no boat. So we can still make our own memories. Let's all go skinny dipping or streaking. Wait, how come everything they do in teen movies involves getting naked? Yeah, I don't really feel like doing any of that. Okay, sad sack. What's up? Jack and I broke up because of prom, remember? I'm pretty sure there was some other stuff in there, too. Yeah, but now there's no prom and no Jack. What if we were meant to be and I messed it all up for this? Okay, come with me. Are we gonna eat pizza? Because fair warning, I'm getting the one with the french fries on it. <laughs> no, we're going to Jack's house. What? Why? So you can tell her how you feel. Come on, Reno, if we're not gonna skinny dip or streak, the next best teen movie thing we can do is march over to Ex's house and put your heart on the line. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Dude, 
I need your help. The boat didn't show up. I know, I know. Uh, I'm following it on face range. All right, listen to this. This is my favorite. This prom reminds me of a deflated balloon. <laughs> but I, I have a question for you. Did it sink? Please tell me the boat sank. No, I confirmed it for the wrong year. <laughs> you have to help me fix this. Oh, do I? You're going to let down the whole school because you're mad at me? You're the president. You're the king of getting out of sticky situations. I can't do this without you. Yeah, not so fun when your bro won't help, is it? Ow! What was that for? Help Dallas. He's leaving. Well, he made it pretty clear he doesn't want to be my friend. Yeah, well, with that attitude, I wouldn't want to be either. Do you really want your memory of prom night to be barbecue with your mom? Hey, I may have a plan. Whatever it takes I know I can make it through And if I hold out uh, I know I can make it through I know I, I know I can make it through